Hello. Today I'd like to show you another idea to use up some of those five inch squares. I'm sure if you haven't been collecting five inch squares you will be because everyone has to have five inch squares. So this is a sailboat. This is again a traditional block but I thought a big block with a, for a big quilt would be quite fun using up some of the five inch square colours that I have. And so this one ends up quite a large block. It ends up being a 16 inch block or 16 and a half it'll measure and sewn in it'll be 16 inch and it does involve using some half square triangles. Now I have shown you how to make the half square triangles with five inch squares in an earlier video. It was in Quilting Tips and Techniques 006 in case that interests you to have a look at. So I've already made my half square triangles and I'm just going to show you how to put the block together. I have done a pattern for this quilt and it's called Sailing and it's a, a big block, big quilt for, with five inch squares and it's on my site Gourmet Quilter Dot com. So what I like to do when I'm making a block, especially one as big as this, is to lay out all my fabrics. So I've actually got them ready to lay out here and then I like to, to pick them up as I go basically. So I've got four rows. It's a, basically a 16 patch. Oops, that's something funny here. Never mind. Um, because there's four, it's four by four, so there's 16 patches altogether. So I've got all my squares. So, what, so because we're using the half square triangle units, which have been trimmed down to four and a half inches, I've actually trimmed all my other plain squares. And there's a few of the background, and there's a couple um, in the boat, and the, also all the ones that kind of are for the water, the blue at the bottom. They're all uh, just plain squares, and so they've all been trimmed down to measure four and a half inches. So the green's not next to the green. And here's all my water. So I think that looks quite fun. And so what I'd like to do now is I've laid it all out so that I know where I'm going with the sewing. And I'm going to sew them in pairs down the row. So that they're all just joined together in pairs. And I know what order they're going to be in. And I know that they're going to stay in that order. That's always nice. So just with my quarter inch seam allowance, I'm just going to sew these together and pick up the next pair and feed those ones in. This is a great block. I've always liked the sailing boat, boat block and it's quite fun in a big quilt. It would be great if you happen to have a nice beach house or something like that. I don't have a beach house, but I do have a boat quilt. first pair done all the way down. Now you could do the next two as a similar row of pairs and then together but I find it overall still better to just work along. So I'm just going to pick up the next one all the way down and join it again just chain piecing without snipping them apart. I find that if I keep them together they stay in the same order. So I've now got a third piece to add on here. one. So you can get into quite a system, quite a rhythm. It's uh, quite nice to do it this way. And because the blocks are quite big it makes it quite manageable. inch squares just have so many uses. I'm not sure I can imagine a life without five inch squares. So now I've done my third one along and I'm going to pick up the final one and sew that all the way down as well. So it's looking a little bit ungainly at the moment but it is all there and in order. I think one of the things I like about the five inch squares is that you can have 
so much variety of fabric within the one quilt. And it's quite good when you realise you don't always have to absolutely match everything in the way of colours and things, that you can have a little bit of variation and it looks great. Right, so that's my fourth row all joined on. So normally I have, if it's a smaller block, I actually just press it without snipping the rows apart. But once we get up to something as big as this, I find it actually is better for me to snip those apart to press them. So I'll quickly do that. And it's probably just as easy to press them, all the seams going um, one way on something like this, because it just gets a bit complicated otherwise. So that's row one. So my row two, I'm going to start pressing from the other end so that the seams go in the opposite direction. it up and letting that slide over when the iron gets to the seam. And row four probably doesn't actually matter which way I do it because the fabrics will go either way. Okay. So now I've got my four rows with my seams alternating in direction and ready for me to sew those rows together now. And I'll do those in pairs. So I'll join this pair, and then I'll join this pair, and then I'll join that, those together. So you can see it doesn't take long. It's quite a big block. A quilt would grow quite fast if that's what you're after, making them like this. Quilting is meant to be a relaxing hobby. I must say when we make all these fast quilts it's not that relaxing. But very rewarding. There's something at the end of it. Okay, now I can join up my next two rows. done except for pressing. Right, so there's all my sails, there's my boat, and my water, and now I'm just going to join those two together. This block's pretty big, it's a bit big for my little ironing board. those seams snuggle in together. There's our block. Give it a quick press. So looking good so far though. It is a bit big, it's bigger than my ironing board, so we'll just have to see how we manage here. So I'm going to press all the seams in the same direction. I'm probably just generally going to press them all up. Just do the other half of the seam. Oh, it's looking pretty good. So I have made this um, quilt according to my pattern that I've done. Um, it is pretty big with these big blocks. I'll just show you that in just a second. So there's my 
sailboat made two blocks there. So because you get two lots of sails, when you make your half square triangles, you can use the same ones. Um, and also for your boats, if you've got boats of the similar colouring and things. And here's the quilt that I've made. As you can see, it is quite large. I've made this one using um, batik fabrics. And it really is just wonderful. I love the way the batiks just glow. The colours are usually so intense. Um, and it is quite a large quilt. I have sashed, as you can see, between the blocks, just to space them a little bit. And I just find that that's a really fun, summery sort of quilt. Looks great. I often have it hanging on the wall, um, out on, a, um, on the deck on the side, and it just makes you feel like you're down at the water. So that was just another idea of something you might do with some five-inch squares. Thank you.